All righty. So, um, we're going to get into an epic arc today. We'll see how that goes. Readjusting my chair here. Um, so, I uh, first want to mention that uh, skill extractors are on sale in our store, 20% off, exclamation point coupon. In Twitch chat, link in the description in YouTube, use coupon code, save yourself a few bucks. Um, these were 530 million uh, day before yesterday, and uh, they'll fall a bit, and then they'll come back up. But skill extractors, uh, 10 of them are like 28 bucks. You can turn around and turn that into 5 billion. The, uh, um, of course, are used for large skill injectors, and these have fallen a little bit in price too. Uh, they will go up again. Um, they'll, uh, they'll go up over 900 million easy after the sale is over. And um, so if you're a person who uh, is skill farming or, or speculates on some stuff like that, it's like I look at the, actually, you know, we were in, talking in the previous section about, um, about the uh, price of things and everything. And, you know, if you are... You know, like I've done speculation on the skins and stuff. And so if you look at it as, uh, okay, you know, how are, how are things going here? You know, you look at it and say, okay, we've hit uh, 550 million and 590 million both in this year. And right now we're at uh, 500 million. Uh, I think you can buy for under you can buy for just above five hundred million if you put buy orders up, and then you hold on to them. And uh, you know, can you? Is it reasonable to say that you'll hit the five hundred and fifty million again? I think very much yes. Uh, how long will you have to hold on to them? Um, I think less than six months. That's a 10% over six months. Not the greatest. If you look at the, uh, if you look at um, this right here, though, 590 billion, I think that, that the, um, the chances of buying right now at 500 million and then selling for, say, 580 million, um, I think that there's a chance. I don't see the, you know, you know, I see the trend here. Like if you had bought a year ago at 420 million, um, you know, you could have made 20% on your money selling up here. So uh, I think that there is, you know, there is some speculation that can be had there. Now, there is one question though. Is this the same rate that Plex has gone up? Because if it is, um, just like in real life, you put your money into things like gold or silver or whatnot, and then you kind of like equalized uh, so that the, um, you know, as the economy changes, so does the value of your precious metals and and it you know it will go up in value and you in essence won't lose any value on your money you don't necessarily make any money but you don't lose any uh, you know which is different like if you are ever going to if you are ever going to uh, take a vacation from Eve, then there's something very important that you need to do. You need to put your, all your ISK, everything you have liquid into Plex. 
you buy Plex with all of it. And then you sit on that Plex because the Plex is the standard. That's like the gold standard. And, and so as, uh, as the economy in the game experiences inflation, Plex moves right along with it. And that's why I was asking like the large skill injector, the skill extractor, you know, has it gone along the same lines as this? And, you know, if we look at here that it was 4.79 and then up here, you know, it's 5.23. So we're looking at a, what, a 15% increase, um, maybe 18% increase. And if we look at uh, skill extractor, you know, it was 4.2 and now it's 5.3. This has gone up a little bit more than Plex, but, but you always put your money into, um, into Plex if you're gonna take a hiatus from the game. You don't have to worry about your other stuff. Typically, you don't have to worry about your ships and, and other things. They will also move uh, as the economy moves. Uh, there are some things that will lose value because, you know, like the example, like gases, uh, they're, you know, or, or materials for building are more volatile because they are uh, considered more, you could consider them even a little bit more like a currency type. Um, and uh, so they are more vol volatile. Um, and a good example is gas, which I think has lost about 50% in the last uh, couple months. And uh, that's because of changes of how ships are built. They don't require as much gas anymore. And uh, so the value of the, the gas has dropped because the demand has dropped. And so, um, but there will be other things like a good example where, where I made like, 20 times my money in a very short period of time was Strant, uh, which is, I think, is, isn't that a, is that a byproduct of, uh, of ice mining, if I remember right, Strant? And it, uh, it was, there was a change coming in and I saw the change coming and I bought up all of it and it was so heavy. It's so heavy. I still have Strant sitting out in some low sec systems that I just haven't cashed in on yet, and um, uh, and I it wasn't it wasn't very expensive, and I spent an enormous amount of money on it, and I was right, and it went way way up, and so um, you'll have other things that that do that. So if you're going to take a vacation, though, don't worry about all your stuff except for your ISK. Put your ISK into Plex. And um, then you just sell the Plex whenever you come back when you need money. Um, otherwise, if you have Plex, it will just steadily increase with the market as inflation happens. And it's not typical in... Uh, deflation is not necessarily good. It's a sign of a dying economy. And... Uh, so you always want a little bit of inflation, just a little bit. And um, so overall, it'll always go up. All right, enough of that. So I am going to head down to Amar and I am going to be... Um, I am going to be oh, why is this one highlighted in this one? Okay, whatever. So headed down to Amar. Gonna do the epic arc. Hello, Brian. So, 
I need to look at, I think I've got some ships in here. I think I was set up. I do not have ships in here. Okay. So, I'm going over to Rayad in order to pick up some ships. That's what we're doing. Yep, I have some ships over there. All right. Let's go. We are very close to downtime. That's okay. All right, so I'm going to go pick up a couple ships and then going to uh, go do the Amar Epic Arc. I'm going to take a couple ships in my bowhead. Oh, and I forgot I was supposed to pick up a data analyzer. Damn it. Hopefully I have one out there. Where does uh, Amar Epic Arc start from? Uh, Corzar? I think. You'll get to see it. It's uh, one jump away from Amar. And... Um, uh, yeah, Corazar Prime or whatever is where it starts. But I got to go pick up these ships first. And then if these ships work out well, I'm going to go park them at the starting location um, for doing this again in three months. I'm probably not going to do any more just uh, level four missions, security missions down here. It, uh, it takes a lot of setup to do all of that. And I don't want to, um, I don't want to commit all the resources down here. My resources are running thinner. You know, normally I would just be like, okay, let's just buy another copy of each one of those ships and everything. And oh, I'm spending, you know, 10, 15 billion to do it. All right, fine. I don't have the 10 to 15 billion to do it now. So I, um, you know, I have 1.7 billion and I'm about to do something that I'm not sure how I feel about it. But, you know, as I was talking about the skins values and everything, uh, I, I think that I'm gonna get out of the skins market I think that I'm just going to put stuff up for sale and I'm not going to rebuy new stuff and everything. And I'll just get whatever I can get out of it and, and go from there, you know? I think, I think that's kind of what I'm going to do. Um, so, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure on that. I still have to think about that a little bit. Is the show looking okay? It's not having any FPS problems or anything. I ask because 
I, uh, I had a lot of problems the last show that I was doing. In fact, it killed the show. We only did like a little over an hour. Um, and I put a lot of work into it. It took, a, it took multiple hours to find the problem. And I thought it was my templates and it wasn't. I completely, you know, removed my templates and then the problem went away. But as soon as I'd put one item back in, like screen capture, it then was crap again. So I think that um, it's a bug in my uh, broadcast software. I was using GPU to, or CPU to crunch everything because I have a 32 core CPU in the system. Um, and that was working out okay. And I wasn't using GPU. And then the CPU setting, I think, is using GPU. I think it got transposed. But as long as it's working fine right now, great. All right, I don't know if I'll make it to the next gate before shut down, maybe. Probably won't make it through the gate. I'm gonna have some downtime here. Hopefully just a few minutes. Bear. It's a race. It's a race. Welcome to the dragons. I hope you're here to stay. Welcome to the dragons, where you see how Eve is well played. Now prepare to get played. Thank you, Ricky Bear. Welcome everybody. We're uh, thinking that uh, I'm thinking that I'm surprised that the server hasn't shut down yet. Why hasn't the server shut down yet? <laughs> Yo, server, what's up? Did somebody at CCP forget to turn it off and on again? What's going on? There we go. <laughs> All right. I think it's time for server down. Need repair. We're all just hoping soon we'll be there. With our fingers crossed, we're counting every minute. Hamsters on their wheels, gotta keep them in it. Down, 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 down. Get those hamster wheels turning round, 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 round. In the downtime, we're waiting, feeling blue. But those hamsters keep on running, bringing the game back to you. server
keep on running, bringing the game back to you. Servers return, hamsters running hard for the game we yearn. Server down, down, down. Is there a patch? Down. Get those hamster wheels turning round, 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 round. Oh, yeah, there it is. There is a patch. Okay, getting that patch going. So, let's see here. I got myself song. a freighter called the Slumbering Sloth. She's slow and she's bulky. Oh, what a hoss. First time we set out from Gita to Amar, I knew it wouldn't be easy, but we made it this far. Lumbering through the black. We're going to do the Amar epic like art. A drunken hippo dance. Every ganker out there in the UK, Just you had some gankers chance, out there. Mm -hmm. But I can't help loving this clunky brick. Even when we're ambushed, I still get a kick. I like big ships and I cannot lie. You other pilots can't deny when a freighter warps in with its cargo hold filled and that massive hull is revealed. You get sprung, <laughs> want to pull up tough. Cause you know that ship is stuck With cargo to the brink Gotta haul that load Flying freighters never gets old Dodging gangers left and right In the lanes of old Every trip's an adventure Every haul a story told Catalysts in the shadows Waiting for a shot But my slumbering sloth She gives it all she's got hey! Warping takes forever Like paint that never dries but there's a magic in her lumber, a beauty in her side. Servers are up. She's ugly and she's costly, and she's slow as can be. But when she hits that dock, it's a sight to see. I like big ships and I cannot lie. You other pilots can't deny when a freighter warps in with its car. Maggie. And that massive hole is revealed. You get 15 months as a sub. You know 2,000 gold, everybody here in your honor. Brink, gotta haul that load. Flying freighters never gets old. There you go. And then. Do a dolly thing. Every gate we cross in the slumbering sloth. I'm the captain, I'm the ball. Yes, you have to have five or above. From the shield's last the flicker to the cargo safe touch. I can't help but love her. I love her so much. What do you think, Maggie? This is what this is what I did up for you. Like big ships and I cannot lie You other pilots can't deny When a freighter warps in with its cargo hold filled And that massive hole is revealed You get sprung or pull up tough Cause you know that ship is stuck With cargo to the brink Gotta haul that load <laughs> Flying freighters never There we go old. Nagging hey. 
Nagging, so nagging. Here's to the freighters, the I'm putting this one up. The stars, though they're slow and I'll put that into our uh, Discord channel. They're the true space zone. Here, I'll put the other one up in here too, in case you like that. Sloth, I'll take a, another spin. Cause flying big ships, man, that's where the fun begins. I like big ships and I cannot lie You other pilots can't deny When a freighter warps in with its cargo hold filled And that massive hole is revealed You get sprung, wanna you pull up Is my mic working? Cause you yeah. know that ship is stuck With cargo to the brink, gotta haul that load Something's happening with my mic Oh my god. Oh god, it's a hype train at the same time. Something happened with my mic. Let's see here. User rock. Caviar underscore libert. I just subscribed for three months. Two. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your dragons. Five dragons is a good start, but it's still no army. One cat gifted five All subscriptions right, let's see here. to the community. Something's going on. You guys are able to hear me, hear my voice okay, right? It looks like... But, uh... Yeah, something happened with my mic. You can hear us? Okay. It looks like I can't mute my mic for some reason. Uh, which, as long as I don't need to say anything inappropriate, it'll be fine. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, something happened to my... I don't know what happened to my mic. Something weird. All right, so... we got a lot of stuff happening here. We've got... Um, We've got, okay, so we've got a hype train happening. And let's see here. Um, let me uh, bring up here. So we've got a hype train happening and uh, it looks like it will be at this point, the um, Load Strike Procurer skin. So, exclamation point giveaway. Get in on that. And then we've got some, uh, some other stuff to do here. Uh, we've got uh, Shot Slap Out. And what is that? Nine months as a sub. All right. So, 90 gold everybody here in your honor and then uh, we will see what dolly is thinking of for you as well and um does shot slap out uh, does your name have anything to do with like uh, hockey or something like that um i don't know that's just kind of what your name reminds me of this is what this is what comes out um, you know, let's see here. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it change it just a little bit here. State of mind ain't got any sense. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put both of these up for you. And uh, yes, here is the hockey version. <laughs> Imagine getting checked by him in the rink. <laughs> Those spikes go into your shoulder. Oh, it'd be over. Yeah. So there you go on that. And um, then uh, caviar... Uh, Liberta. Let's see here. 
drive active. Do what Dolly thinks about you. It's my understanding now that uh, Chat GPT will let free users use Dolly, use Dolly for two images a day now. I think I saw that. So Caviar Liberta. Um, no, it's not Caviar. It's ca it's Cav. Is that Caviar? So is that like Caviar Free? Or is that Caviar? Hmm. Yeah. All right. We'll put that one up for you. It's up in uh, chat. But caviar reminds me of fish. And let's see here. Yeah, Liberty is free. Oh, well, that one's kind of dumb. We got to re-roll that one. Uh, the fish head is not... I mean, how do you wear a suit as a fish like that? That, that one, we need to re-roll that one. That, that one is a fail. Hopefully we don't um, rate limit ourselves today, but I figure we should have a little fun with this stuff. You know, it didn't, um, it didn't work out very well on this one. Okay, I'm not going to try again. I don't want to get rate limited. But I will put that one up and just in case you really like it. <laughs> You're underwater, underwater, in a ballroom with a nice suit. I like it. Yeah. So uh, thank you, uh, Caviar. Let's see here. And um, 30 gold to everybody here in your honor. And then Wanaker gifted subs. And uh, Wanaker gifted five subs. And so that's going to be 5,000 gold to everybody here in your honor. And, oh, goodness. Then, see what comes up on that one. And, uh, oh, did we finish the hype train already? Oh, man. Time flies, huh? All right. Yeah, looks like we, uh, looks like we finished it. <clears throat> so, this is what I came up with for you. Uh, you know, it's okay. It's probably because it just doesn't know, um, what he wants, you know, what it is. So, please make him look like... He really wants a bowl of curry. Spicy hot. All right. Welcome to the dragons. Khaleesi Elisi just followed. Uh, Khaleesi, come. Yes, I recognize that name. Yeah. So, thank you for the follow. Look at that. Uh, that uh, that curry, I don't know, it looks kind of mealy, but, you know, we got your curry, Wanna Cur. Yes, maybe you should change your name to Wanna Curry. <laughs> Spicy hot. Uh, yes, so, anyway. Okay. So now we do have a giveaway to do. And uh, it is going to be for the Procure Load Strike skin. And um, let's see here. This one's been up for a few days. So there might be a few entries in there. And I will get it ready here. So I have only three of these skins left. Um... So did I just tell the AI picture to generate? Yes, I've been giving AI commands. When people sub, I have Dolly do what it thinks is a picture of their Twitch avatar. All right, so.
Oh, man. What's interesting is I've made a mistake. That mistake is, is that this one's already been drawn. Um, all right. That's okay. I will uh, force the system to draw it again. So some of you have already been in on this for a while. And um, so we're going to pull two winners off of this one is what we're going to do. And um, so <clears throat> give me just a second here. Make that work. For some reason, I didn't uh, retire this one after uh, after doing the last draw for it. All right, so um, for the winner, I'll read off your Twitch name, um, YouTube name, game name, whatever name you put in there. Uh, if you didn't put that in, I'll read off your real first name and just last initial so that you remain anonymous, but you still know who you are if you hear it. And uh, the winner is going to receive an email. It'll be an email that is... Uh, <coughs> That is a reply to the email you got confirming your entry. It will have, uh, it will have code in it, instructions on how to redeem it, all of that jazz in it. And it comes from our store. If you uh, guys need any Plex or any packs or like skill extractors, which are on sale right now, any of that stuff, exclamation point coupon in chat, or there's a link in the description on YouTube where you can get in on that and, uh, uh, use that, save yourself a few bucks. So, congratulations to... His name is Marcus H. Marcus H, and he says, many thanks. You're welcome. So, Marcus H, if you happen to be here, then check your email. You'll find, uh, you'll find that um, contained within. All right. So, and I will turn off the proper one. I wonder if I turned off another one on accident that wasn't supposed to be turned off whenever that one was drawn last time. Hmm, I don't know. So, I'm not going to worry about it too much. All right. You, sir, All fixed. rock. Coronel underscore Mosorka just subscribed for two months. All right, Carnell, thank you for the follow or for the uh, sub. Two months, twenty gold to everybody here in your honor, and then uh, let's see what uh, what Dolly is thinking of you here. What it thinks your Twitch avatar may look like. Whoa, it, that's like way military. Hmm. And for some reason, it, it puts you in the U.S. military. Yeah. That's, uh, that is, um, that is a lot of stuff. It's like you're a triple Air Force pilot. <laughs> All right. I will put that up. 
I don't know how I got that interpretation. It may be... Hmm. Well, there it is. Okay. So, thank you for the sub. Much appreciated. And now, back to Eve here. And, um... Um... Uh, Mazacora means corn cob in Spanish. Really? Please make him a corn cob. <laughs> I just had to. I had to. I have to. Yes. It's it's required. <laughs> Colonel Corncob, there you go. Look at those eyebrows. Look at them. I mean, oh, and it, look at that. It puts your label as corn. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, I'll put that one up. Your Colonel Corncob. There you go. That's up in our Discord chat. Um. <laughs> Sometimes, man, those things are just wickedly funny. Yeah. So, um, liking it. Liking it a lot. All right. So, oh, man. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. That one That one turned out really nice. So, Colonel Corncob. Yep. See, I couldn't have dreamed that shit up myself. So, and... He's got like the husk for a collar. You know? Look at that. It's like he's wearing it almost like a scarf or whatnot. I mean, I couldn't have come up with that stuff. That's great. I like it. Okay, so we are here. And uh, I am going to grab two ships. Actually, three. Okay, we're grabbing this one. And then we're grabbing this one. And that, if we need if we need anything. Okay, I don't have anything here. I'm going to take this to market. This song is weird. So, okay, now I'm going to assemble this and see if it'll fit in here. It does. Okay. We're going to um, take this stuff to a mar and then from there we need to get a data analyzer and see if we need any more ammo for face smasher and this right here uh, I'm gonna put on the market or something sell it off uh, I don't need an extra ship hole sitting here so all righty drive active You don't use your propulsion when undocking to get uh, your speed up. It, it doesn't work. It'll actually delay you.
Oh, Khaleesi. She is a streamer as well. You guys can click on her name there in uh, Twitch chat. Give her a follow. Dreams Eve. So, we're going to get over here. We are kind of space trucking. Out in the black where the starlight fades. Jet big rig McKenna's got the wheel. I don't have a deadline, but you know. He's riding high in the cosmic ego through the galaxy so vast and wide with a heart of gold and nerves of steel. By the way, if any of you want access to my music, exclamation point music, Twitch chat. so tight where the shadows of safety gang ships roam now with this ship at the next gate it's not nearly as likely to encounter gankers it has pretty high EHP it takes a lot of resources for them to gank you it's not impossible it can happen. He's it's just not as likely. On the starry road where space truckers pave the way. Uh, Khaleesi. So, I wrote the lyrics to this song. And then I had AI I do the instruments and uh, voice. With friends. A new contract comes in. His ship loaded. Journey extends under the watchful gaze of Bob. He undocks again. He's riding high in the cosmic eagle through the galaxy so vast and wide. The song is part AI. With a heart of gold and nerves of steel. Jed's making his run. It's a Caldari ship? No, this is an ore ship. With a scout at the next gate. Yeah, it's an ore freighter. So here's to the space truckers. The haulers in space. May your I love using this on May stuff like uh, Epic Arcs, no fear certain ones. I wouldn't use it on the SOE one. Race, our beloved space truckers embrace. Drive active. Uh, 
another uh, trucker song. Doesn't sound trucker at this moment. It is. Same deal with this one. I wrote the lyrics, AI for the music, and voices. Talia is named in several of my songs. With tales of risk and reward so grand in the holers gambit we take our stand. For every hole through dark and light in the holers gambit we chase the night. Talia. She's a fictitious, actually it's a real character in game, trucking character. All right, how close am I? I'm almost there. We're getting there. So, right. So, um, I think it's Talia, um, Cray. I just, uh, when I was writing the song, I just needed a name, plucked one out of all the names in game. Don't know who the person is, but don't even know if that character is played.
Yeah, there are a couple songs about actual players in the game. Katie Say about her accomplishment of going to every system in the game. And then there's uh, another person mentioned, which is uh, Cushion. And uh, it's a very well-known ganker. You don't want to run into him. Kitty say, very nice. Uh, cushion, uh, not so nice. If you run into him, it's most likely while your ship is on fire. All right, so we're going to get to Amar, and then we're uh, going to put in, uh, I don't know if I'm going to put this ship up for sale or not, and we'll see. Uh, not the bowhead, the Tempest I'm carrying. See what the market looks like there. I mean, if I can, you know, do a quick sale for a reasonable price, I'll do that. That practically bump into the gate. So big. Do an insta dock here. So, one of the things about doing like the Amar Epic Arc is that you do want to loot it. Uh, you, you, in some cases, want to salvage it as well. Um, the, the loot, you know, turns out to be pretty good. Uh, you also want to go through it as fast as you can. Uh, it takes, it takes a bit of time. I think it's 18 missions. And, um, so... And I don't remember if what I have here for ships is going to be enough, good enough. I don't know. We'll find out. Welcome to the Dragons. Mushroom Fox, Fox One Mushroom just Mushroom followed. Docking request accepted. You left a sniping Dominic's at all epic locations and shuttle between. Yeah, see, that's another way to do it, too. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right, let's uh, repackage this. Let's see what the market looks like here. Oh, it's on and up. Okay.
not a whole lot of them here. I'll go ahead and put it up for sale. Um, there it is. Sell this item. We're not going to sell it for 308. There. There we go. It's the lowest price. Maybe it'll sell sometime soon. Okay, we need to look at uh, this one here. And is that going to be enough ammo? I'm not sure that it is. Operation Navy Antimatter Large. I guess I don't have any here. Right? Well, gosh, there's not a whole lot for sale here either. We could look at Caldari Navy Antimatter too. They're both exactly the same specs. This one's 1320. Thirteen eighteen. It's not much of a difference. Just keep it the same for easiness sake. All right. I'm going to put this into the bowhead as having extra there. Then, um, I think I want a mobile tractor unit. Pack rat. Then we need a, do I have a mission box here? No. I need a data analyzer one. I don't know if this character can do a data analyzer two. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Data analyzer. And I got that extra ammo. Uh, I don't think there's any gates that I need or any gate keys that I need or anything in this. If there are, I don't remember. And let's see here, put this guy in here. And does this guy, um, can I view cargo? Simulate fit. Looks like maybe we should take another, grab one more MTU. I just want to put one in each. It just makes it easier. Uh, I end up picking him up and I got another guy that's going to use his stuff and he is over here and uh, he's got a uh, MTU here and I'm 
Just wonder if I should carry some kernite with me. And this guy. How much kernite is it? Is it 8,000 or something like that? Yeah, because I probably will get a special along the lines here, and it might be one of the Kernite delivery ones, but but who knows? Who knows? All right, so last thing here is that I uh, invite them to fleet. Both of these. Then, like this character here, don't know if um, what her standings are with Amar. Require two point eight eight needs to be needs to be five point oh. Um, or is it Emperor Family that uh, that gives a mission? Because in essence, what I can do is is I can repeat uh, the whole epic arc with this character after doing it with my other one. And so this guy here, he won't share any of his standings uh, back over on the, um, on the final stuff for the, for the state stuff, but, um, but would on everything else and then can uh the the only time you can share state standings is on an epic arc and so if i can go through this efficiently with these ships or whatnot and if this other character can fly those ships or this other character does have like this uh bar guest here which might be able to do the whole thing too um and might be able to do it actually pretty well um, then, uh, you know, could, um, uh, conceivably do it with this ship and then can share back to my other guy, the standings. And so, um, he, his Amar empire will go up and that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to raise here. So I'm trying to get my Amar empire up to 10 as well as my Kaldari state. Kaldari state is way more important. I do business in both Jita and Amar. And uh, it's Ministry of Internal Order. Okay. Um, I, do, I do business in both Jita and Amar. And uh, it is... Um, it's more important, though, Kaldari state one. And it's all about the taxes. And it's the taxes because... If you look at this, I mean, if we look at my overview here, you know, I have uh, bought 83 billion, I have sold 83 billion. And, you know, when you think about just a, a percent on that, on all of the commerce, that it's it turns out to be a lot and it's worth it. So, you know, if you at least get your stuff up to like the seven range, that's pretty good. Um, getting it all the way up to 10, it, it, you know, from seven to 10 will take you, you know, uh, I don't know, 30 times as much. And so it may not, may not achieve full benefit there for your time spent. Uh, but I also like the goal of having 10, 10. So uh, that's, that's what I've kind of got here. And so you say it's Ministry of Internal Order for the um, for starting the epic arc, and yeah, he's four point five six here on this one. So, all right. So for this episode, if you're watching on YouTube, see you in the next one.